sun. It's time for bed. Oh, but Daddy, I'm having such a good game. James, it's far too late for a boy of your age to be up. It's 12.37 at night. But I'm not even sleepy. Can't I have a story first? <sighs> well, all right, just one, though. Now, what would you like me to read to you? Peter Rabbit? Mm. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Mm. How about the story of the 2016 US presidential election? Yes, that one, that one, that one. Yes. All right. Once upon a time, in a land called America, where there were states of blue to the north and states of red to the south, and a beautiful white house in between, lived a lady who wanted to rule the kingdom very much. Very, very much. Some would say too much. And she wore a jacket of beige and trousers of beige and shoes of beige. And she walked the land telling everyone that would listen that she was the best ruler for that land. Even though her husband had once ruled that kingdom, this kingdom had never been ruled by a lady. And so she set out on a long journey to that beautiful white house, but along the way she got lost in a forest. A scary forest? The scariest forest. In this forest, there were lots of computers. And on those computers were emails. Emails? Yes, emails. But the lady had special powers to make them disappear. Disappear? Where did they go? Nobody knows, son. But apparently neither did she. And also, there were scary creatures in that forest. There were trolls. Trolls? And a fox who delivered bad news. The news fox. And a House Select Committee on Benghazi. Benghazi. And things got scary. Very scary for the lady. She was nearly defeated by an old, old man with hair of white and face like that of a wizard. He said he could take from the rich and give to the poor no matter how impossible his plans were. He sounds cool. But even when she got past those creatures, the lady still wasn't out of the forest, for standing between her and the beautiful White House was the most terrifying creature of all, the big orange monster. Was his face orange or was his hair orange? Somehow, son, both. <laughs> so this orange monster had already swallowed 16 other monsters in the forest. A prince named Jeb, who thought that the land should belong to him. A sleeping beauty named Ben, who only spoke with his eyes closed. And a Texas senator named Ted, who came from a tea party. Oh, a tea party. Could we have a tea party, Daddy? James, focus. I'm telling you a story. Still, nobody expected the orange monster to rule the land, because although his head was very, very big, his wisdom was very, very tiny, like his tiny, tiny baby hands. And whenever he was told that he couldn't rule the land, the orange monster said, I'll puff, I'll puff, and put a ban on all Muslims. He, he could do that? Well, he wanted to. Because even though America was a diverse land of opportunity, the monster wanted to build a big, giant wall. A wall? Mm -hmm. A wall to keep out boys and girls from faraway lands like Mexico. Even Mexico? Especially Mexico. For the monster didn't care for anybody who wasn't like him. Not Mexicans, not the kingdom's black president, not even Rosie O'Donnell. The comedian Rosie O'Donnell, but why? Because, James, she's a lady. And since the orange monster was so cruel to so many ladies, the stakes in this 2016 presidential election were very, very high. For if any future monsters wanted to say that boys and girls aren't equal, Americans would know but the lady in the beige trouser suit made it through the scary forest and past the orange monster and all the way to the beautiful White House. The end? The end? But, 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 Daddy, did the lady make it to the White House? Tell me that the lady made it to the big White House. We can't tell that yet, son, and neither can the polls. But let's just hope that when you wake up in the morning, every man and woman in America has turned out to vote. Because no matter what your political affiliations are, you have a civic duty to vote. And as long as you do, no one can tell you that this election was rigged. Where, where are you looking, Daddy? No, in particular. That's it. Good night.
What, Daddy? Mm -hmm. The big orange monster won't grab me in the night, will he? Of course not, Sam. Oh, what about my pussy? Will he try to grab my pussy? Good night, Sam.